Blossoms, Minecraft Hardcore Castle World again. Day 162, which I know is a lot later from when I last saw you because I've been really busy. I've made some additions to our little work camp that's turning up. And come on, pig, move. We've got so many pigs. Well, we've got four pigs. Three wandered in. This one's trying to wander out. I don't want it to wander out. And one's from breeding. Come on, pig. Oh, we'll do it the hard way. This is going to hurt. Ouch. Oh, so, as you saw, I dug out the quarry. <laughs> that was hard work. There it is. We'll go down and have a look at that later. We're going to go get a horse first and bring it over. But, the masons have turned up. They've started work. They've started making the stone so that we can make our walls and our towers. We've got a little shelter here for mixing lime mortar. So we've got clean sand and we've got lime. Just trust me on that. This is hydrated lime. <laughs> it's diorite. I know, don't tell me it's diorite. I know it's diorite. And look at this. We've got some little houses that have started to be made. Now, I know. You're looking at these and you're going, oh, they're so dull, little boxes and jungle wood. And that's the other reason it's day 162, waiting and waiting and waiting in there for jungle wood to grow and waiting to get enough sap saplings to make four. But yes, these are very dull, very ordinary. And you may be saying, Draymond Smith, what are you doing? These are really ordinary little houses. I wish they were wattle and door, but is the best I'm going to get. And I want thatch. I want thatch now. <laughs> I want hay bale, stairs and slabs. I really want them. But we can't have them. We can't have them. So what have we got here? This is a little house for the Master Mason and his whole family. So we've got a little campfire. We have storage for food and whatever. There is no chimney. Let's have a look. See? No chimney. Because... They didn't have chimneys. Well, they had chimneys for bakeries and blacksmiths, but not for houses. I mean, the first keep that's recorded with a chimney is the 12th century, and that's, you know, that's the rich. The rich get things that no one else does. That's worrying. If this stands me up in the fire, I'll only have myself to blame. I think there's a cave under this house. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, so no chimneys. So the smoke goes straight up into the roof, which keeps vermins and insects out of the roof. And we've got openings at either end so that the smoke can get out. That's as good as it gets. You don't actually see chimneys start to be part of people's houses till around the 1500s. You don't see it generally catching on with the poor till around the 1700s and even then it's the upper end of the poor, not the lower end. So, enough of that. We've got a couple of houses there. There'll be more to go in. I need some more jungle wood. But if we come down here... I've got some kilns, which I've been using to cook the cobble from the quarry to make stone for the walls. But in terms of the narrative of the work camp, the kilns are for the potter. So the potter and his or her family live in this little house and any other workers that the potter might have attached to them. And same deal, fire but no chimney. Why have we got a potter? Because everyone needs pots. Cooking pots, storage pots, whatever. And here's the potter's little workspace. Already got some pots made. And this is Minecraft. Nothing can be round. So I want you to trust me when I say this is a potter's wheel. Okay, you ready? This is a potter's wheel. Right. We've got a path going out here to the pond where I've already started collecting some clay, or the potter has. Ah, <sighs> so that's what I've been up to. Right, I'm going to go and grab 
a saddle, which I picked up from a village while I was looking for this place, and a lead, which I got from a wandering trader who very kindly walked too far away from one of his llamas. I actually love the wandering traders while I'm in this world. They've been so useful. I've gotten all sorts of interesting bits and bobs. That place worries me. Including jungle saplings. Yay. One with a dark oak sapling turned up after I'd walked all the way to get the dark oak. Typical. Okay. I'm going to go get that stuff. Whoops. Hello, piggy. We are going to go and find a horse. All right, let's get this horse attached to the cart. <sighs> this is gonna be fun, I think. All right, that's not bad. Although I've got a feeling I should, that'll probably be easier. Okay. Getting it this far isn't gonna be the problem, I think. All right, can I close the other gates? Yes, I can close that one. Come on, horse. Over you go. Um, and now we'll... Yeah, very nice. Oh, where did it go? Right. We've got it tied to the cart. Can I get... No! Can I get my saddle back? Right, let's try again with this. Okay, I'm gonna back you in. All right, no, 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 no. Come on. Oh. No, I just, oh, I got those gates closed so well, and now I can't. Come on. Why are you being so, that's the wheel. Yes, I wondered what that was too. Oh, why? Did I have it highlighted for a second and I missed it? Ah. Oh. Right, that's one. So I do it by nudging it and being not quick enough. Mm. Right, but I don't want you popping out. Ah, all right, not the best option, but the done option. Now, are you gonna stay in? Can I get my saddle back? Yes, I can. I'm, um, yes. Although, oh, maybe I should leave the saddle on because then it's got the bridle and harness. Oh. No, I'm not worrying about it now. When I get another saddle, I can come back and put one there. This, in case you're wondering, is for loading stone onto the cart. So you stand down here to raise the other end of the lever up and you've got stone tied to the Rope. You swing it across, you put it in the cart. Fulcrum and lever. Move the world with that one, or at least some stones. Okay. Let's head back up. Oh, enough mucking around. That took longer than I thought it would. At least I got the saddle back. Right, the next thing for me to do is get a whole lot of stone ready and start building these walls and this tower. We're going to start with the Great Tower and the walls. Let's get going. Tower walls varied in width between 2 and about 10 metres. I've picked 5 for the Great Tower. I think that will be a happy medium. It's also 20 metres across. <laughs> the 
the smaller towers have got walls that are only three meters wide. Now towers varied in height from between 12 and 50 meters. I think the tallest tower built in medieval times attached to a castle was 57 meters. I'd have to double check that. Walls themselves were between two and nine meters thick and about nine to 12 meters in height. So I'm just going to finish marking out the towers and the walls in stone, get their foundations in, and then I'll get back to you. So there we are. Oh, that's all the towers done and the walls. Not done done, you know what I mean, marked out. And I've lit the area too, so I should be able to bring the palisade down. I'm going to leave it a couple of days and just see what happens. And I need to light the tops of the walls too so we don't get spawned. But I've got these hollow walls, and the walls were not hollow. There was an inner and outer membrane of dressed stone, and then in between there was lesser quality stone rubble, mortar, packed earth. So that's what I have to do next. I have to get all of this filled in. And then we can start looking at height. I deliberately didn't put any cranes in or anything at the moment because this is just a reachable height. We don't need cranes right now. The other thing I need to do is work out where the doors into the towers are. So I'm going to leave the tower walls as they are until I get the doors worked out and we've got to map out where our buildings are going so let's just go around yeah we've got an entrance here just so we've got an entrance that's the other thing I have to work out doors to the outside now coming around to the gatehouse I'm going to put some wooden um, defences along the outside wall of the gatehouse. Um, probably just some hoardings or something and a roof. Fairly rudimentary. And again, I've got to work out doors into this. This is where the actual gates are going. So it's not going to be anything to flash right now. The idea is it just gets us started. And I want it to give us some defences from any pillagers who might come around. And back to where we started. Now the other thing I'm going to do is fill in areas like this where there's a real dip down. I'm going to bring it up to more or less the same level. So as this wall gets higher we're going to need cranes and scaffolding and not bamboo scaffolding I haven't got any bamboo <laughs> and what I need to work out oh yeah where's the spiral staircase going I want a spiral staircase in this um, I think we will put uh, I think we'll put a door here and we'll put a spiral staircase here. I think we will put the spiral staircase here. So we'll have it coming up there. Yep. And I've got a tutorial for a spiral staircase so I'll link that in the description and there may actually be a card in top right hand corner. But yeah, I think the spiral staircase can go here. Because this tower is going to be quite tall. About 32, 33 metres. Something like that. So the next thing to do is to mark out where all the buildings are going to be that are in this inner bailey. 
So there's a great hall, there's apartments for the Lord and Lady, there's kitchen stores, a granary, barracks, stables, kennels, a well, I'm not sure what else. Get the spiral staircase started and fill in the tower walls. Yeah, but I think I'll leave that till next time. So in the meantime, there's a link to the spiral staircase tutorial on the screen now and a link to some more videos of mine. And if you've made it this far, put the secret code phrase in the comments. And the code phrase today is bring down the palisades. Okay, I will see you next time. Bye.